we are going to go ride this thing around one of the worst neighborhoods in Chicago. Wild scene on the west side involving a stolen car. What are you up to today? How are you making your rent money? Oh, kissing? I think I'll be seeing you on YouTube on Friday. What is up guys? It is your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636. Today we are on my Suron, my beautiful Suron. I haven't done a video in Chicago on my Suron in a little bit. It seems like you guys really like to see the Suron out here in the hood, whether that's the south side, the west side, whatever. Every time I do a video, I come across some pretty crazy stuff on this. I don't know, maybe it's just a coincidence. The first time uh, we're at the location of where I came across that guy absolutely beating the crap out of that girl and then, you know, false flagging that he's got a gun. That whole situation has gone really viral. I get tagged in that every day. and you know, like what I did and how I handled the situation and whatnot. And you got everything from, yeah, you should have blasted that dude right in the face to, uh, hey, bro, don't even get involved with domestic situations. And uh, I think I did a good job of being halfway in the middle there, you know, telling him what he's doing is wrong, but at the same time, not pulling out my gun and, and, and shooting him. So I don't think either one of those is right. But either way, we are on the 66 volt, 4,000 watt controller light V today. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go right around. And I figured this would be kind of a cool spot to, to start it at as it's pretty abandoned and uh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of history there for you. I always like doing these types of vlogs where I don't really have anything in mind. Oh my God, my bike's gonna be filthy now. Uh, it's not a hood eats. I don't have really much objective. And uh, there's a couple, you know, high profile news stories around here that I might touch on. But other than that, we are gonna go get something to eat and we are gonna go ride this thing around one of the worst neighborhoods in Chicago. South Austin is, uh, is yeah, it is just that. Ooh. Look at the old S-Red, man. That was actually my second bike that I ever owned. That's the last year that Suzuki made carbureted sport bikes. Inline four carbureted, man. Build. Here's a new uh, community center on the west side, 5100 uh, West Harrison. They built it as a community center, you know, basketball, gym, computers, all that good stuff. Really new building. It's one of the only new buildings I've seen built around here in a long time. Share lane. Yield to bikes. I like that. Yield to bicycles. God damn it. I'll tell you what, with it being only a handful of days left till Christmas and we are in the north, well, the Midwest, Chicago, and I'm able to ride, that's a blessing, man. That is a blessing. Oh, whoop. Sorry. Sorry. Welcome to Austin. Yep. One of the farthest west side communities that Chicago has to offer. One of the beautiful ones, too, huh? Jesus loves you. Legendary Legends, one of the West Side's oldest motorcycle clubs over here, them and the Born Losers. I haven't really seen this too active lately though. This used to be a pretty big clubhouse around here with a beautiful view of Interstate 290, also known as the Eisenhower. Mid-city liquors, huh? Oh, that's the new hard tea, right? That's not regular tea, that's got alcohol in it. That's crazy. Arizona's moving up in the world. All right, guys, sorry for interrupting this vlog on the Surround from the West Side and also this channel's 636th video of all time. Today, uh, I wanted to just let you know that the main ride from Ride of the Legends out in Los Angeles is live now on my Patreon. Once again, this is one of those big stunt rides that YouTube just does not like, but we're gonna continue to put out that content and uh, continue to travel because we do believe it is important to document the stunt community and keep these videos alive. So if you wanna jump over there, the link is down in the description. It helps out the channel in a major way as YouTube doesn't really support us anymore. We are kind of just supporting ourselves and, and it has been working. So if you want to check out that and uh, many more stunt rides that are exclusive to the Patreon, check out that link below. Let's get back to this vlog from the west side of Chicago on the Suron. I love y'all. You want to get a ride? Get on. <laughs> I want to ride by myself though. Can you do a wheelie on it? Can I do a wheelie? Yeah. This? Oh yeah. You're not going to just take my word on it? All right, all right. You can tell I know how to do it. <laughs> Scooter with the speakers, huh? A little front, front wheelie. I appreciate it. She said she, she already knew I knew how to wheelie. A dash, it's a dash cam, so when cars pull out in front of me, they can't sue me. You know what I mean? You know how people be driving out here? It saved my ass before, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Are you kidding me? People pull out, because this thing's quiet, people pull out in front of you all the time. Sometimes I do if I see crazy stuff, but if nothing crazy goes on, I don't really put it on YouTube, you know? Yeah. All right, man. Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. That one lady's like, you know he can wheelie. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that boy. You know that guy's doing something serious. I do have to say, there is some riders. I remember when I was a, a squid or whatever, or just a regular rider. There is some riders that like, I would look at them and be like, dude, that's a stunt rider. Like the way he rides, the way he carries himself. Like, I guess if you have been around riders that long, you can kind of tell if somebody knows how or, or does not know how to, to wheelie, you know? Yeah, this thing is so quiet, man. I do use this GoPro as a dash cam and I, I'm not going to get in the depth of it or anything, but I have used it as a dash cam before and it actually did save my ass in a huge, huge 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 way with a lawsuit so uh, i think even if you're not doing youtube like myself or, or just a regular rider that commutes to work nine to five i think having a gopro or a sense of protection is huge you know what i mean because a lot of drivers if you've been riding for more than one minute you'd know that a lot of riders get pulled out in front of all the time lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of artwork love to see it <laughs> whoa <laughs> i scare you did I? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's electric. It's uh, it's technically a bicycle. It's not even really a motorcycle. <laughs> not much. What are you, what are you up to today? Are oh, you making your rent money? What? Oh, kissing? How much it costs for a kiss? For a kiss? I'll give you five bucks. For a kiss? I don't know how much I got. <laughs> hey, you can save your kiss. You can save your kiss. Just have a good day. Merry Christmas. <laughs> she touched my butt. <laughs> oh, God, man. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> I'm out here trying to make my rent. All right, guys. We are on the 800 block of South Cicero. This is one of the incidents I wanted to touch base about. Something pretty crazy happened over here yesterday. I saw it on the news. I heard it on the scanner. It was Tuesday night when a vehicle was sitting over here in the Buddy Bear car wash when members of Cook County Vehicular hijacking task force went to make contact with him as it was a stolen vehicle. He was sitting right here in the car wash. A man is dead after being hit by a car during a police investigation. A spokesman for Chicago police saying that the man was sitting in a stolen vehicle this near Cicero and Polk when members of the city's vehicular hijacking task force tried to talk to him. And that is when investigators say he ran into the street and was hit by a passing car. The man was taken to a nearby hospital where he died. The vehicle involved did not stop. Kind of a crazy, crazy car wash situation going on here. But he was sitting in his car over here and uh, members of law enforcement went to stop him. He did not plan on stopping and he didn't take off in the car. You can ride around the city with your bike, right? Yeah, you've seen me on YouTube or something? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I seen you talking to the little guy we know him now. Shorty? Sure. Shorty's my boy, bro. <laughs> Shorty's my guy. He's been on my bike before doing wheelies and shit. Oh man, me and Shorty go back. Yeah, I've known him for years. Okay, okay. Were you guys over here uh, the other night when homeboy got smoked by the truck? That's hey, he was the manager. That had to be crazy to see, man. They were telling us about it. They said he drove up. Yeah, he drove up over here and then got out of the car and went to run across Cicero. Got hit by a semi. Wow. That's unfortunate, man. I don't care how what you're doing or how young you are. No, I'm not going to kill myself over no car. It's a Miller High Life kind of day, huh? That's all my little brother drinks. <laughs> all right, y'all, be safe. That's cool, man. People recognize the bike from the videos. But yeah, so like we just said, he ran on foot across Cicero and a semi-truck heading northbound killed this 24-year-old man. Well, hit him and ran him over. And the craziest part is the semi kept going. So chances are the semi's either stolen. Huh? He hit you. Um, hit me. Yeah, he was coming out it's okay. I get hit all the time. You're going to leave me on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where we at? Out west. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. I'm out here talking about what happened over here the other day. R.I.P. Man, that's terrible. That's terrible. Hi, right, y'all. See it, man. I keep getting stopped. Everyone recognized me out here. This is crazy. What the f is going on? So the 24-year-old, like I said, ran across Cicero and got hit by a semi-truck. And the craziest part of it all is the semi-truck did not stop. So I'm going to take a wild guess that my boy either just didn't have a CDL or the truck was stolen. And the police are now looking for the semi-truck. 
because the semi truck just hit and killed a guy. Obviously, you know, I don't, I don't know who you want to say is in the wrong, but God, man, what a just a terrible situation. Let's see if I jump up. Yep, seat stander. That's pretty crazy, man. I mean, once in a while I'll get noticed, but I mean, I don't show my face obviously, and I don't really, you know, ride the same bikes or I feel like I'm pretty unpredictable. That's pretty crazy that this many people have uh, said they know who I am. Mom's still out here trying to make her rent. I am hungry. What up? <laughs> you trying to tell me something? Oh uh, yeah. You know what this is? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Right, man. What's up? I'm, dude, what is, what is going on today? They're like the fourth person that's recognized me. Yeah, dude. This is crazy. Yeah, I, I oh yeah? What do you guys do here? Elevator, bro. Elevator mechanic? No, not mechanic. We fab them. Oh. I got a close buddy that's an elevator mechanic in the union. He said yeah. it's good money. It's a good union, yeah. Really good union. Are you guys union workers or no? No. We don't install, we just do fab work. Yeah. If you need any kind of weird metal fab work, you let me know. Yeah? You guys do welding? Yeah. Really? You guys weld aluminum? Uh, I haven't gotten there yet. No. Okay. Uh, we got a couple frames that we need welded, but that's about it. I got ran over in California last week and uh, my back half of my frame snapped. So. Yeah, I'd probably make it worse. <laughs> I'd probably make it worse. <laughs> well, that's cool, man. Not many people know that these things are even around here yet. They're sick. I want to get a dual sport, I think. I want something that I can take on like fire trails and that. Like a DRZ? Yeah, maybe. DRZ is a good option, man. Yeah. Trails with, but also like take out on bad roads. This, this thing's like battery life really isn't there yet to really support like much adventure riding. That's what I've heard. I mean, you could get maybe like two hours aggressive riding on it, but after that, you're kind of up shit's creek without a paddle. You can't go to a gas station, right. you know? Right. So, you can't carry a fucking backup battery with you either. Exactly. All right, brother, you have a good day, yeah? Thanks. Enjoy your weekend. Merry Christmas. All right, guys, I got to get the hell out of this city. I gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> People know that this is a Suron. People know my damn name. What do we feel like eating today? I'd like something healthy, but healthy food on the west side of Chicago does not really exist, my friends. I do have a pretty good alternative, I suppose. Speed bump. Oh! <laughs> Now, we are not here by mistake, people. We are at Hoodie's episode one location, the original Maxwell Street, but we will not be getting an original anything. This is the only Maxwell Street in the entire city that serves these burritos. And I like their steak burritos here. It's pretty good. Yeah. What's up, fellas? Yeah, Can I have a steak burrito? Everything. 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 And a brisk. Man, I gave all my dollars to that hooker. Look at that baddie. That's a baddie from Cincinnati. Yeah, this was the location of Hood Eats episode one, which if you're new to the channel, this is a series that I've been doing for five years. Yeah, five years now, where I go to uh, restaurants within some, you know, a little bit sketchier neighborhoods. And this was the first episode that I did. This is technically West Garfield Park. And two years ago, the man who served me my first glizzy, the Maxwell Street Polish, two years ago, rest in peace, he was actually shot in the face serving a glizzy to a disgruntled customer. A man working the window here was shot in the face a little after three this morning. He was taking to Mount Sinai where he later died. The suspect took off. Right now, we don't know if that is in a car or on foot, but there is easy access to the Ike from where we are standing right now. Police say they don't have anyone in custody and we don't know what led up to the shooting. Since then, this has been the location of some pretty high profile shootings just all across the map. Two police officers got shot here last year. 775, that's a good number. 1775, you know what that is? You don't know what that date is? 1775, really? All right. Have a good one. Merry Christmas, boys. Two more dollars to give to another hooker. Let's go eat. Oh, my boy. 1775, come on. Oh, got my burrito, got my brisk. Gonna go eat this and not take a risk. Yeah, like I said, man, I, I really do enjoy these vlogs, man, where I just kind of ride around and I don't really have a set objective. Kind of humbling, but kind of also scary that people recognize me now. I don't know if I like that or not. I guess we are coming up on a million subscribers. I can't be that surprised. Dude, these things are disgusting. Buzzball biggies. Oh my God. The little buzz balls is always enough for me to make me want to 
not drink anymore. <laughs> now they got big ones. Come on. Gotta find me somewhere to eat my burrito. Eat my burrito. Eat my burrito. Cook County Sheriff's here, man. These are the boys that are in charge of stopping a lot of the carjackings here in Chicago. They're pretty dedicated to that and the elusive heroin trade. Huh? I don't have any money on me, man. I don't have a 10 or a 20. I said I don't got none. I'm sorry. It's because that guy wouldn't give me a kiss. I only give money to people that will give me a kiss. <laughs> that sucks. My boy's getting served a warrant right now. That sucks. Boy is literally getting served a warrant on the sidewalk. And I'm just looking for a place to eat my damn burrito. There we go. Some nice secluded benches. I like this. I can do this. There you go. Now you stay here. I'm going to eat a burrito. No, I know when I think of Maxwell, I don't think of burritos, but I'm telling you, it's the truth, fellas. It's the truth. I think this is a work release program here uh, from, for guys for prison. They get sent here and get to work on some of the industrial jobs on the west and south side of the city here as part of the work release. Kind of cool. Very important part of our judicial system that has always kind of failed. Or not always, but uh, I feel like is underfunded. Rehabilitating people from prison to the real world. Very important. Same thing with guys from military to the real world. I think that's really important. So, all right guys, let's dig in. I'm telling you, this ain't a hood eats man, but for six bucks, I mean, come on. You get a bunch of steak, good sized burrito, and you get it quick. It's right there, right off the highway. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day out here. How, how can you be mad? I mean, unless you're that guy getting served warrants, that would really suck, but beautiful. I'm gonna eat this and uh, get back to riding a little bit. We're out just goofing around. Power mode one. We always cook it in a two. One's not enough, two's just right, three is too much for me. I don't like power mode three. Everything feels so much faster on this because <laughs> you're on an actual bicycle. Cuts on alleyway here. I love some of the alleys in Chicago, how you can still see the brick foundation like this. Like that's how old this city really is, man. It's crazy. You got Divi bikes all over the place. I see these things abandoned everywhere, man, literally. Some of the still uh, low rise, housing projects here right off of Roosevelt. They're still here. They're just not big high rises like Cabrini Green and Robert Taylor homes anymore. What's up, kitty? What are you doing out here? You got an eye goop in you. Oh, looks like his eyes infection or something. Poor guy. Oh, there's another one. Here we go, man. A Hyundai with a busted out rear window. I don't even want to stop over here, man. I think we all know what that is. You ever see that? A Hyundai or a Kia with a busted out rear window? Get the hell away from it, man. Don't walk, run. Huh? Am I who? Logging right now? Yeah, how did you? Bro, I think I'd be seeing you on YouTube on phone now. Oh my God! You're like the third person to recognize me today. Hell yeah. Brian 636. Yeah. Looks like these cars just gotten in a demolition derby. A bullet hole straight through the windshield. Dear God. All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. We got something to eat, talked to a prostitute, met a bunch of people that know us, covered two or three current events, you know, between the shootings at Maxwell's and uh, the guy that got hit by a semi out on Cicero. We got to do a couple wheelies on this thing, a couple little tricks for you. I honestly can say this is one of my favorite bikes to ride. It really is, and I'm not just saying that. I do, it's like a love-hate, the, the quietness of it, it is a love-hate, but it is pretty cool that, you know, we're getting the ride around a lot of places that we just cannot take a regular motorcycle, like through some of those abandoned lots, through some of the sidewalks, across some of the bike paths. That's cool. I find a lot of enjoyment in that. I kind of feel like I'm a young kid on a BMX bike again. But like I said, halfway through this video, if you guys want to check out some of those main ride edits, I promise they're worth it. And I promise that this is going to be a permanent thing now that I'm going to have to be releasing a lot of Patreon only ride videos. It just is what it is. If you guys support me and rock with me, then, you know, jump over there. If not, uh, just continue to watch the couple videos I put up over here. Just 
know that it's really dulled down on YouTube. So with that being said, but well, you guys know what to do here. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a big fat like. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and uh, leave what you guys think down in the comments below. I do my best to respond to them and interact with you guys because I feel like, you know, you guys are my friends. Y'all my friends. Y'all like doing cool stuff and watching cool stuff on bikes. You guys are my friends. As always, this is your least favorite motor vlogger, Brian636, signing off from Chicago, Illinois. Feels good to be home, man. It really does. Feels good. Been on the road for too long. I love y'all. I'm out.